Hey everybody, it's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we saw tons and tons of new features, met some new locals around town, including the great Alakazam, and I guess Charizard and Tyranitar were there too, uh, unlocked a whole bunch of new features, and this time, well, we're going to be going off to the Pelipper Post Office first and foremost. On the bulletin board were quite a few new jobs. Some of these say special reward. Upon clearing these, the Pokemon that is in the little picture there will join the rescue team. Keep that in mind, as sometimes that can be very helpful. Additionally, there's a new dungeon here called Oddity Cave. We already have jobs there, despite not ever being to such a place before. Not being sly about it at all, that's where we go. Before moving on, though... Gulpin. Remember a move for old Buzzy Bow here. We're able to teach Buzzy Bow Thunder Wave right from the get-go, and Tackle honestly has no place in its moveset. Get rid of this right away. Upon getting the Magnemite, all of them have this ability. Ah! All right, success. Buzzy Bow forgot Tackle and remembered Thunder Wave. That'll scare him out of ever using such a terrible move ever again. Willow, this was a terrible idea, and it's not your fault. It's me. It's always me. Also, it makes sense to make Magnemite stronger. Why would you not do this? All sorts of these, uh, electric maze or steel maze? I'll go electric. Steel's not a very common attacking type, and I'm more interested in leveling up those moves. Did very well on that run. Level up from seven to eight. Well, in that case, now it's time to show what a silver ticket is like. This gives five more seconds and the experience points are boosted a lot higher. Arceus knows I need it. What did that do? Level 11. Now that's more like what I was expecting from a normal outcome. But this way, I got to be excited about something that I would have otherwise considered mundane. And in town, as we've advanced... Oh my gosh, the forest fire a while back was simply awful. I hightailed it out of there. There have been so many natural disasters lately. More Pokémon are starting, to, uh, starting their own rescue teams. I've lived in this pond for many long years, but never have I seen such frequent natural disasters. I mean, how many would you be able to actually see if you never go anywhere? Oh yeah, weren't we going off to a Dungeon? So we were. Oddity Cave is now open for exploration. We have one job there. Uh, oh, a strong foe. Okay, so this is our first time seeing this. These are powerful enemies that reap some pretty big rewards if defeated, though we can't actually recruit these quite yet. I don't want to go after that right now as we don't have any chance of recruiting them, but if we did, there is actually a chance that these can be shiny Pokemon. There are not shiny Pokemon for every single species in the entire game, only strong foes. So for you shiny hunters out there, congratulations, you can have a complete shiny dex for only about 20 or so encounters. For now though, it's Oddity King. The enemies in this dungeon are pretty tough, so make sure you're well prepared before you go. If you're worried, you can try out a different dungeon or go level up at the Makahita Dojo before you take- I can take it! You can now select your teammates before you depart for an adventure. Try getting three Pokémon to head out on an adventure. First, select your team. Try team number one this time. Buzzy Buzzy Bow, Magna Magnemite, you can come with. Alright, time for adventure. I... ooh, I, I think actually... Yeah, I'm gonna take some items. If this really is going to be higher difficulty, I should probably take a few more. I'm ready! When the leader, the Pokemon you control, defeats an enemy, a nearby enemy Pokemon, sometimes friendship with that Pokemon is formed. And then, they'll join you on your adventure! I am so excited about this music! I've been waiting for this one! So, for you serious veterans, 
This might not sound like a familiar place at all. Perhaps you 100 percent at the original Mystery Dungeon and never saw this? That's because in Red and Blue Rescue Team, this was a Nintendo event exclusive dungeon. It could only be unlocked using the Wonder Mail code that you see on screen right now. Perhaps this is new content even to a series veteran. Remember that the dot 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 in parentheses is one character in the original font. But even if you did, you probably weren't aware of this music. This is a song from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, which has one of my all-time favorite video game soundtracks to it. Granted, that game also has a lot of problems that are not the music, but, uh, you know, I, I kind of don't want to bring down the mood. Point is, I love Gates to Infinity soundtrack, and I'm so glad that I can share it with you here today without actually having to play Gates to Infinity. Ah, oh, man, it's so, so good. Just have a listen. so wonderful. Listen to it if you ever get the chance. Even if Gates to Infinity is... It's really weird. There's a lot of problems, but absolutely I can... Whoa, there's that rare quality at work. Absolutely I can say that if there are a lot of problems, the soundtrack is not one of them. I'm gonna do it echoed, echoed voice. There, I used it twice in one turn. You guys are just tossing rocks. And our echoed voice is getting strong. I'm hitting for 28 damage per go now. Probably about the only way that I'll be able to KO these foes. This song is a, me is a medley, too. Many songs from Gates to Infinity are featured, and it could not have gone to a better soundtrack if they were going to medley anything. Recruiting Pokemon. Hasn't happened yet. There's many, many factors that play into it. It works as follows. For one, you must be controlling the Pokemon that knocks out the enemy. No exceptions. No partners allowed. Has to be you. For second, they must be within two squares of the Pokemon that KO'd them. Items are allowed if it was within range. Third, you must have their camp. Where else are they gonna live? There's an exception to this rule called the Wigglytuff Orb. We'll go over that when we get to it, just know that it's a thing. Meet all these requirements, and then chances are rolled. There's several ways of boosting this. Team rank has nothing to do with it, contrary to popular belief. The player's level, however, increases the chances every 10 levels starting at level 30. If you finish it off with False Swipe, TM, that increases the chances. There's also rare qualities, squad up and friendly, and then also the inviting orb. Surprisingly, a lot of factors, many of which under your control, play into recruitment. And as I mentioned, in the Game Boy Advance and Nintendo DS versions, there were version-exclusive Pokémon. There's no such thing as trading Pokémon to do this, but what there are in its place are Wonder Mail codes that can be entered at the Pelipper Post Office to give oneself missions that unlock these Pokémon. Now. It can be kind of hard to find people nowadays who have the other versions so that you can coordinate that. So here, in the description of this video is a generator. Technically it's a cheat, but no judgment if you want to use it. No, no, I don't want to escape. Yes, I want to go on. Got a little mixed up there. No judgment of it. And in fact, if you live in South Korea or Taiwan, those regions never got Red Rescue Team at all. Only Blue Rescue Team was even released over there. So depending on where you're watching from, it might be impossible to get some Pokemon in the original release without a generator. Real nice, Nintendo. Super thoughtful of you. There's Willow moving up to the front of the party to use that rare quality. Rare qualities being party-wide buffs is just so incredible. Uh, gonna use Echoed Voice again. Please knock him out. Yeah, enemy defeated. Uh, oh, Poliwag seemed to develop a kinship while we were beating the crap out of it. Tadpole Pond not in a camp. Since we don't have the camp, they will join us for the rest of the dungeon. Uh, oh, they have a rare quality recoil boost. 
Moves that have recoil or damage or uh, damage or moves that hurt the user if they miss are greatly powered up. Rare qualities affect the whole team. Not a super great one. Uh, still though, it kind of sucks giving that up. Um, I'll leave the camp if you want to edit your team. Oh my god, I hear the song that's starting up right now. Have a listen to this one too. First time ever hearing this uh, new version of the first dungeon theme from Gates to Infinity, and I'm getting I'm I feel giddy over this thing. I just I feel so much joy about it. This song is one of those that never fails to make me happy. Kind of has that whole kind of Celtic Irish thing going on with its composition. I love the instrumentation with it. Such a good song, and hearing it remastered for this, perfect. So good. I'm just gonna push my partners forward. I think they got this just fine. Seal's gone. And there's Doduo. Does Charge Beam reach? I think it does. No. Well, that's okay, you have Dragon Breath. That's all we really need to deal with any problem. Smack you, and uh, Echoed Voice, uh, PP was restored by five because of PP Pouch. There that is. That's such a good rare quality for any kind of long dungeon. It really eliminates the need for PP items in most cases. And it's another reason that two to five hit moves are so good. The fact that all they have to do is knock someone out to get the PP restore restoration chance. Oftentimes two to five hit moves will just never run out of PP. That good voice again, you're done. Seal. I don't have your camp either. Sure, come with me. We're limited to three Pokemon when bringing them into a dungeon in the first place, but the party can be up to eight in number at a time, and it's so great just coming in with an angry mob to just wreck the boss's crap. Uh, disarming voice. Well, that's the first of a few fairy type moves that I'll learn. Unfortunately, I don't see this as having a place on the team. Fake out's gonna get replaced by uh, Blizzard sooner or later. Fairy type moves, this will damage every Pokemon around Skitty, though it doesn't get the same type of attack bonus, so not feeling it. Getting rid of you. Okay. And then there's an item over this way, as well as the stairs. Perfect. Seal using water spout to weaken the power of all these fire types that we see around here. Leap ahead, good. Keep being self-sufficient. Thundershot, whoa! I didn't have to do anything! Combo move! And we got a level up for Buzzy Bow! Leveled up. I don't think I've shown this yet, but since we're not gonna see this seal ever again, pressing A on partners? I wonder what's up ahead. Everyone has something to say about the current situations. Don't give up. Wouldn't bet my life on it. I'm gonna try for you. Pokemon have all sorts of things to say about the current situation. They, it, it's affected by how much health they have, what's going on at the moment, Pokemon that are on the floor. Perhaps they're afraid of a Pokemon that they're weak to or some powerful foe on the floor. It's really cool. And it's different for every species. Uh, you don't stand a ghost of a chance, do you? Come on, give me the PP patch. This should knock it out. No, it didn't. Yeah, I got plenty of Max Ethers. I don't know how many floors are in this dungeon offhand. I've been keeping that a secret for myself because I don't want to really play by that where I'm like, well, we have exactly four floors left. Can't damage you with Fake Out or Echoed Voice, so I got to go with Charge Beam. This is our first ghost type. Iron Tail. Magnet Bomb. Rare qualities are where it's at, man. Basement's floor six. Whoa, uh... Classy. Mother Nature was having a good day when she made this place. You're going for a quick attack? Well, that's okay. I'm going for an echoed voice. Oh, right. You have soundproof. My one nemesis. It's really fitting that I was given a Pokemon that has any kind of audio-based ability. 
I've always said that if I had any kind of superpower or semblance or quirk or whatever fictional thing that you're watching that has a new term for superpowers in it, that that would be mine. <laughs> Magnet bomb. I see something on the map down there. Something big. Lick a tongue, get out of my way. Uh oh, Onyx. This is our first example of a gigantic Pokemon. Not a Gigantamax Pokemon, a gigantic Pokemon. These are massive foes, three by three tiles in size. There were limitations in the past over how these guys could actually join the group and uh, how many of them could be brought along. Any such restrictions have been gotten rid of. Even if there's no room in the party, one Pokemon just gets sent back to camp. And they don't have any kind of limitations. Onyx is infatuated, good. This is the immob immobility that I really like about Skitty. There it is. First time using a tract, actually. I oh! Okay. That was an uproar. Fake out. Smack you. Smack you again. Since we have the ability to recruit Pokemon now, I want to tell you a story about Execute. Would you believe me if I told you that Execute in the original version was the most difficult Pokemon to recruit of them all? I'm not joking. The problem was that Execute only appeared on Tiny Woods. There was no chance of recruiting Pokemon there, and aside from Tiny Woods, only appeared on one floor of one dungeon, and its spawn rates were super, super low. Effectively, it was something crazy, like a less than 1% chance per go-through of the dungeon that you would even get the chance of getting it. It was so dumb, didn't know about it till I researched this, and then, so I found out that, oh boy, uh. No, let's take the experience here. Hypnosis? Uh, cool. Wake up! Another thing that's not obvious is tapping this underfoot button, allowing one to interact with whatever is under the feet without having to walk off and back on. Can be useful in strategic situations if you ran onto an item and then an enemy came near. I'm getting hungry. Uh, attract, why not? I like me some beefy bugs, and they like me. <laughs> Skinny really is the perfect Pokemon for me, just between all the moves that it learns. I love moves like Charge Beam that buff stats while doing damage. I like immobilizing my foes, making them have to roll dice to attack me. It's just everything. There's also just the fact that in my daily life, I get called a girl so often, where everyone's like, Emily, your table is ready at restaurants, and it's... It's never gotten any easier. It's always happened every day of my life, and the fact that I'm a Pokemon that's generally seen as a girl, I think that's kind of cool. I'm not gonna get a chance to hit the center, am I? Nope. Uh, press plus? Yeah, let's play as Willow for a little while. Absorb! There it goes. There's a lot of Pokemon up ahead here. Uh, oh no! Oh no, 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 no. I'm getting the hell out of Dodge. Lediba's gimmick is that they sleep in bunches and oh boy, if you've ever wanted to see Lediba be good because you're so tired of it being utter garbage in every single game ever, you got your wish. And it's not because of anything that you do. Lediba have some two to five hit moves and with so many of them together and all waking up as a bundle where they wake each other up, they're dangerous and get out of hand so quickly. Didn't think we'd be seeing those in this dungeon already. They are dangerous, dangerous foes that I would not recommend messing with if it can be avoided. <laughs> the other thing is Silverwind. They get that, it attacks the entire room and has a chance of buffing all of their stats. I do find that really sad though that Lettybuzz are actually a huge threat finally, and it's not something that you can actually use to your advantage. It's just something that they do against you. It's like even when they're good, they're not good when you're using them. Basement floor eight. Pretty far we've come. I think longest dungeon run so far. Um, Sparkling floor, got a Carbos. Hello, we could use a specialist like you on the team. I'm gonna give that to Chamomile. Despite having a lot of new team members, I'm only giving these stat-up items to Willow and Chamomile 
because the, those two are required for every story chapter no other Pokemon is, and in some cases we might not even be bringing along Buzzy Bow. Battles are going on for a long time, but we got a pretty box. Anything over here that I want? Just some Poke. And a sleeping Mr. Mime. And finally a fairy type that we've run into. And we go on. That's it. As soon as I'm saying, hey, this dungeon's long, it listens. Rainbow gummy. And that's all. There's no camp for Poliwag to stay at. But you got 241 Poke th as thanks for a fun adventure. There's no camp for Seal to stay at. But you got 252 Poke as thanks for a fun adventure. Thank you for rescuing me. This is your reward. Decoy Seed, haven't seen that yet. Now you can get rescue points when you complete a request. Once you have enough rescue points, your rescue rank will go up. When your rank goes up, your camps will get bigger and more Pokemon will be able to stay there. Respond to more requests and keep raising your rank. There's a lot of ranks. And I guarantee you, we won't be getting all of them. Didn't we do good today? Let's call it a night and get some rest. Okay, see you tomorrow.